Here's just a quick iPhone video to show how the original AD360, the manual only uh, Super Flash, uh, will work with the new X1 system. First of all, you do have to have the new XTR16 USB receiver clipped in. I've got this one. Let's see. So you can see it's set to group A. And I've got it set to channel one based on the toggle switches. And there's a good handy guide to what all the toggle switches, how they relate to the different channels, digital channels that are in the X1 transmitter. If you go out to my website at michaelmowbray.com, there's a little uh, JPEG there that you can take a look at and gives you um, a simple guideline. So I'm just going to turn on the, uh, the X1 uh, transmitter. And it's hard to do one-handed, but going to go to group here. We're going to go to A. We're going to go to eighth power. And then once I lock that in, boom, it's eighth power on the back of the flash. On the X1, I'm going to go to, let's say, 16th power. Boom, lock it in. It's at 16th power. So as long as the channels line up and the group lines up, because as you can see, on the X1, I have this set to group A. I have my XTR16 set to group A. It will control the older AD360 flash. 